YouTube demonetizes channel for supporting Palestine, the cost of speaking truth. In an era dominated by the influence of social media and content creators, it is profoundly disheartening to witness platforms like YouTube making choices that not only stifle voices, but also censor crucial conversations on global issues. Recently, our channel, First Hello World, received a disheartening notice stating that it would be demonetized, due to our vocal and unwavering support for Palestine in the ongoing war genocide. YouTube's decision raises a plethora of pressing questions, ranging from freedom of speech to the role of digital platforms, and the far-reaching implications of silencing voices. The Impact of Demonetization The process of demonetization, as wielded by YouTube, is a formidable blow to content creators, stripping them of the means to earn income from the platform. The repercussions are far-reaching, affecting channels that rely on monetization to sustain their work, including funding equipment, conducting research, and creating content. In our case of First Hello World, it is unmistakable that our content was demonetized as a direct response to our unwavering advocacy for Palestine. Freedom of speech Freedom of speech, an indispensable cornerstone of any democratic society grants individuals the right to express their opinions, beliefs, and ideas. It is a fundamental right that permits the sharing of perspectives, even when those views are contentious or unpopular. By demonetizing channels that express support for Palestine, YouTube appears to infringe upon the freedom of speech, particularly targeting content creators who bravely speak out against injustices. While YouTube, as a private platform, retains the right to enforce its policies, it is imperative to explore the profound implications of this action. By stifling voices that advocate for Palestine, it inadvertently extinguishes vital conversations about a complex and enduring war. Digital platforms as gatekeepers. Digital platforms like YouTube play an undeniably pivotal role in shaping public opinion and discourse. With billions of users worldwide, these platforms function as gatekeepers for information and discussions. As gatekeepers, they bear the responsibility of maintaining impartiality and refraining from favoring one side of any debate. This responsibility is particularly weighty when addressing matters as grave and sensitive as the Israel-Palestine War. Standing on the right side of history Throughout history, it has become abundantly clear that speaking up for justice and human rights is not just an option but an imperative. Pivotal movements, such as the civil rights movement, the anti-apartheid movement, and the struggle against colonization, have all been spearheaded by individuals who dared to raise their voices against oppression. By demonetizing channels that advocate for Palestine, YouTube may inadvertently find itself on the wrong side of history. The need for open dialogue. In the context of any conflict, open dialogue is an indispensable pathway toward resolution. It fosters the exchange of ideas, the presentation of diverse perspectives, and the prospect of discovering common ground. By discouraging channels from discussing Palestine, YouTube may inadvertently obstruct the potential for open dialogue. The demonetization of First Hello World, due to its unwavering support for Palestine transcends the realm of one channel losing its income. It is emblematic of the broader issue, stifling discussion surrounding an issue that carries vast global implications. YouTube, alongside other digital platforms, carries the responsibility of fostering freedom of speech and encouraging open dialogue, rather than assuming the role of gatekeepers of information. Only through candid and honest discourse can we aspire to unearth solutions to conflicts as intricate as the one that unfolds in the Middle East. It is imperative that these voices be heard, as they echo the resounding call for justice and humanitarian concern.